Well, hello there. I'm Vituaz, Chess Noob, learning having fun with chess. Yesterday, we did the unboxing of the chestnut sensor chips and also some new pieces from India Chess Heart, some wonderful wooden pieces. Today, we're going to put them together and we're going to make them into custom pieces for the Chestnut Pro. Now, this method I'm going to show you, anyone can do. And I think it's the best and the easiest way of making custom pieces for the Pro. Well, let's go. So blue tack, I've got the Chestnut Evo to help me identify the Chestnut sensor chips. Piece on, oh, that piece is a queen. See, I can identify that's a knight. And putting the pieces onto their respective squares just to keep things organized. Black bishop, white knight, and confirmation of the last piece, black pawn. And with the pre-drilled holds, just make sure the, the sensor chip um, does in fact fit uh, and basically just make a little you know, a little ball of uh, blue tack so blue tack is a, is an adhesive putty you know and it's really good it just basically sticks the sensor in and as you can see the rook piece is detected very well by the board now, in this, uh, in this one, I just took the piece out just to show you what the blue tack does inside the piece. Basically, you know, it just conforms to the inside of the hole. Now, with some pieces, with this knight, the hole is a little bit shallow. And with the sensors, you can cut off the tip of the silicone. There's a diagram on where it's safe to cut. Again, you know, the idea here is, you know, measure twice, cut once. Yep fits well and just like before little lump of uh, little lump of blue tack inside uh, push it into the depth of the hole uh, now in this case I just use my little finger to really jam it inside and then the piece sensor just sticks in very well so that really didn't take very long to put the sensors in you know, compared to my previous method which really took forever that was really quick now in terms of the felt i decided to use my own felt uh, and using a a circle template able to find the exact size i want so for this bishop 33 millimeters as you can see I just happen to have the self-adhesive uh, felt from the last time I made pieces, so I thought I would make use of the felt again rather than use the included felt. Basically, I just didn't have an appropriate glue, so this was the way I decided to do it. If you use the included felt pieces that uh, Mr. Singh from India Chess Art includes, uh, then this process will be a little bit quicker. Here, just using a hobby knife just to help peel the felt from the backing paper. There we are. Again, measure twice, <laughs> cut once. So you do have a little bit of latitude as you're sticking the felt onto the wood because the adhesive doesn't stick that strongly to the wood. So if you haven't got it quite right, you can quickly just pull it back. But once you're sure it's in the right place, that's where you push it uh, back in. Here I've got a little bit of adhesive just on the edge of the, uh, of the piece, as you can see there. So just using my nail just to push that back underneath the felt. And it looks absolutely delightful. So this is sort of an antique white and the black. Ah, yeah, that, that green felt looks so good. Now press down the surface onto a nice flat surface. It sticks very well. And here we go. All the pieces done. Probably took about an hour and a half or so. Not very long at all. Wonderful. And these are the Austrian or the Vienna coffee house 
pieces. So I'm going to play against Jimmy. I'm going to bully Jimmy. I always bully Jimmy as a bot when I'm doing some bit of testing. And the Vienna game using the Vienna pieces. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, what's Jimmy doing? Yep, he's going to allow me to play into a Vienna gambit. I think he declines with knight c6, which is a mistake for those of you who knows Vienna. You should take the pawn. They'll take with the knight. There we go. Jimmy takes with the knight. And now we take the full center. d4, attacking the knight again. Knight has to jump out of the way. And now we push another pawn, attacking the knight yet again. Knight forced to go back to its, uh, its home square. And we now win a massive tempo. Okay, all done. And in total, probably about three minutes per piece. So a little bit over one and a half hours, less than two hours. You know, look at this wonderful piece. It's, uh, you know, the Austrian style with the opposite color hat for the bishop piece. It's quite unique. I just love the design of these pieces. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope this inspires you to make some custom pieces of your own.